Hey guys, it's Master Linnet here, also known as Patrick. And you guys had a, a strange request, and I never got something like that before. You asked me, how did I make my Let's Play videos? Well, pretty simple, I take a camcorder at the TV screen. Oh, but yeah, I use emulators, and I got other ways of recording stuff. So, I'm going to take you guys through how I make my Let's Play videos, and in case you want to repeat the same methods, go ahead. But keep in mind, I do not use EasyCap. I do not use a Dazzle, and I do not use an HD PVR. So with that in mind, let's take a look at how I make my okay, videos. so the first thing you guys have to do is pick a game you want to Let's Play. Usually mine are ordered from favorite to least favorite, and I got all tons of games. Yeah, there's even some in the back. I don't touch those often, but they're there. So it could be Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, anything I have in mind. But for this example, let's do Resident Evil 4. So I'm going to put the game in, and I'm going to be recording with a different video device, just so you guys can see the camcorder I'm using now. So bear with me on that for the different quality, First and let's get to do. Turn down, uh, not turn down your blinds. <laughs> Close your blinds. Now it's darker, right? Absolutely Good. make sure your door is shut if this is in your bedroom. You do not want animals, sisters, brothers, parents walking in on you or anything. You want to keep yourself okay, pretty so this secluded. Is how it looks for like this from part. behind. Now, as you can tell, the camcorder is not fully adjusted. So, what I want to do is I want to adjust it to where it's about right with the screen. So, kind of there and kind of not. Now, this camcorder, the JVC, does not, let's just say, it cuts off the edges when you put it in the video editor. But then we just go to the okay, game. Okay, so this is what it looks like when we're actually recording. The camcorder isn't in the record function right now. It's basically leveled up on the tripod facing the TV screen. Yeah, obviously I'm not playing the game myself. My friend Brian is. Usually I sit pretty far back away from the camcorder just so it doesn't get that static function. But other than that, that's pretty much all you need to know for recording the TV screen with the oh, well with the tripod that. and the camera. You could use like a, a t like a TV tray and books. That's what I used until I got a tripod. And he's failing to save Ashley. There we go. Anyways, let's get to the, the editing step now. Okay, guys, this is basically what my computer screen looks like. It's important to notice what files we are working with. So I'm going to put these right in the center. We're working with these files. That's what my camcorder calls them. So the first thing we need to do is we need to convert these files because this file, which is an MPEG-4 format, does not is not readable when it comes to the Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum version 10. Boy, that's a mouthful. Say that with gravy in your mouth. See how that works out for you. So, I need to convert it. So basically, I go to the Any Video Converter, because that's the one that works best for me. I don't have the newest version, but the version I have works just fine. So basically, what you need to see the most is my video options and settings. I put it in a smaller frame, because if you make it bigger, it'll make these little black lines that go across your screen. And let me tell you, they're not your best friend. Make sure, and absolutely make sure, the video frame rate is 29.97. Otherwise, you're in a lot of trouble. Bit rate rate, 768 works just fine. And my video codec, the one that I found that actually works the best, is a WMV1 format. So I already took the, the time to convert it. So now it's the WMV1, which is the, set, the video codec I used for it at the very end. So I still use Windows Movie Maker. Surprise, surprise, it's my best friend. Now these are files from other projects, so just ignore it. And I'll leave it at the top. So let's see, I want to basically go and take my file. I have other stuff on here from other videos, and I want to find it. 3F, WNV1. So I take it, I drag it onto the bar. Now usually if I need to do any editing, I'll go through, like say I want to split it to take care of that, and I want to add a transition. So say I want to add a transition to my test video. Let's see how that looks out. Or, right, knife that bear trap. So I could do whatever I want with it at this point. Usually it's just putting stuff together, editing when it comes to random battles with Final Fantasy 3 or something. So I take care of that, and all I do is I publish. Let's name it RE4. Simple enough. And usually the publishing time does not take that long. And I'm recording with a Logitech headset. I'm not sure if I said that already. And that's pretty much it. For the emulator videos, I use my... I, I basically use my 
the controllers are like an NES controller, and that's pretty much it. So we're not going to save, don't need to. Not for LP videos anyways. So RE4, I usually take it, I bring it to where the other files are at, and now after that we want to open up Vegas Movie Studio. Now I basically want to go to New, Internet Video, Internet HD. Now all I want to do is import media. I go down and I basically find RE4. And there it is. So now that I have that, I put it on the video overlay or the video. The text works too, but if you want to add text, it ain't working very well. It's like layers on Photoshop. So let's zoom in for the sake of editing. Increase the voice by about 1 to 1 1.5 depending on how everything works. Now the mixer is basically the overall output for the file. So usually depending on how loud I'm talking, I'll go to 1, 1 1.5, sometimes 2, or, or whatever else I find convenient. Now I'll take a look at that. That looks horrible, doesn't it? I mean, you can see the edge of the TV screen, it might be tilted sometimes, but there's a way to fix that. So go to Properties, Media, now make sure for the pixel aspect ratio you make it 1.33 with HDV 1080. Very important. Now go to movie pan and crop. Now I can't see anything here. So it's important to go to a part of it to where you can see on the, well on the right or wherever you want to put it. So usually I cut accordingly. Like for this one I want to maybe cut it pretty wide and then go down, move this a little bit. Make it to where it looks clean. So once I get to go there, and let's just leave it at that for now, but that's pretty much what I'm going to go for. Now it looks a lot better than it did earlier. Now the camcorder always has that little uh, glare sometimes in dark areas, but there's nothing you can do about that. That's the quality you're getting. And then finally, go to the project properties. Make sure the full resolution rendering quality is at its best. Once you do that, click OK or Apply, Make Movie, name your file, where you want to put it, and usually I put it in 720 the whole time. You can get, you could go for 1080, for it takes longer, but for re regular videos, it's not like a finale or anything, 720 works just fine. Now for the download time, I always go to cable. Cable, it, it doesn't take nearly as long. And then I finally hit Publish, and that's my video. And you could always do editing on top of it in case you need to show something on top or add text or whatever. But that's a whole different story. So that's basically it for the camcorder video. Okay, guys. Now for when we go on to the emulator videos, usually I use the emulators Visual Boy Advance for all my Game Boy videos, and I use No Dollar GBA for my DS, and I use other emulators accordingly depending on the system. I have a Sony Bio computer, so that helps a lot. Now here is my binder full of my notes from all my other LPs. It has an old cover that I made a really long time ago back on my old account. And I'm not going to show you what's inside the binder because this is my private notes. Basically you replay the game, write your own notes about it. That's all there is to it. Now what also helps is if you have strategy guides with the maps and stuff. Maps are very useful. So, maybe if you don't want to write notes, strategy guys are pretty good too, but I always feel more comfortable with notes because I know what I want to do per episode, what kind of stuff I want to get, maybe little details that the strategy guides don't really cover, like level grinding spots, they don't say anything about it. So, or they don't tell you like enemies weaknesses all the time in certain spots, so it just depends. This guy looks a bad example because it does do that. Anyways, we're going to take things onto the screen and I'll show you guys how I take care of an emulator video. Now, we're going to move on to the emulators. I use Visual Boy Advance, I've said this earlier, and I also use the No Dollar GBA. All you need to do is click and drag and you'll get whatever you need. Now usually you need the controllers plugged in, otherwise it won't be as great. This one you can just click because it's a DS emulator. And everything goes accordingly. Then, you record the footage using Camtasia Studio, which is how I'm showing you this screen in the first place. Now say I already have these two videos and I need to edit out the random battles. I already recorded everything, so all I'll do is I'll go back to Windows Movie Maker, because it's our best friend, if it just load for me, 
I forgot to click it. Ugh. So basically, let's go down. I have my file. So let's go ahead and put the first one there. So I'm going to scroll back up just so you don't see what else I'm working on. It's too much. Let's see. Now I want to make sure I get the random battles. So I'll basically scroll through. I want to make sure it's not ones I've seen before. So we've got the toad. And here's cockatrices. Oh, I hate those guys. I hate, yeah, I hate cockatrices. So now let's go to one where I've been through here. Ah, oh, here's ropers. I fought these guys twice. And to double check, it's not jerks. You can tell by how I'm talking that I'm obviously not talking to the audience. You guys. And girls. So what I want to do is I want to scroll past. I split it. Then I go past and I'll split again. This applies for my Pokemon Yellow as well. And and then all I have, all I have to do is put a transition in between. So it's generally not hard. And once you take care of that, you're, you publish the video and you'll get another one that I named differently. And I usually put them off to the side so I can get around to publishing it. Now we go so back. All I do is I use the same settings. I go to import media, and I go grab that LP Final Fantasy 3 DS number 18, and always name your project file something different. Otherwise, you'll be here for quite a while. Now, in order to get to fit the screen the way I want it to, I didn't want to go exactly HD widescreen. Watch what happens when I do that. It's not something very kind. Ah, oh, oh, that looks horrible. So, let's not do that. But, Linnet, just change the aspect ratio. Oh, okay, well, how about I do this one then? That looks a little better, but it's not quite what I was going for. I mean, it all depends on what you want. What I want is not that. So I'll go back to the square, because it looks better. Then I'll go to Video Pan and Crop and get this. When you go down, it makes it bigger. And now, it's just those little black bars on the side, but it ain't exactly widescreen either. Not all the way. And then my whole file's there, according for everything. So now that my file's there, all I have to do is publish accordingly. Now for the Camtasia, I always lower the, uh, the game audio so my voice is not too high. I recently started doing that. And you could adjust the audio bars as well. For these ones, I usually just leave it at 1, and I don't toy with the mixer at all. And then I'll do the same thing that applies to the last videos that I was working on. And after that, all I do is hit publish. That's basically all I do. So guys, that's basically how I record a Let's Play video. If you have any further questions, feel free to send me a message or a comment. I'll get to it as soon as I can. And that's pretty much it. So you guys all have a wonderful day. And one thing I didn't cover during this video is your commentary. Commentary comes with practice. We all have our own different styles. Usually an inspiration or a role model, you can sort of go off in their direction and eventually build on yourself over time. And that's pretty much it. So have a good day guys.